Hey guys, it's Hugh. So today I'm going to be using everyone's favourite secret bake ingredient, stork, to make a delicious Easter piñata cake. So what that is, it's going to be some sponges all piled up, shaped like an egg, covered in buttercream. There are going to be some Easter eggs hiding in the middle. It's going to be magical. Let's do this. One of the great things about stork is that it's soft straight out of the fridge. Super convenient, much. What I'm doing here is creaming the stalk and sugar together. That This traps air bubbles in fat and dissolves some of that sugar, making the cake super fluffy. Okay, it's eggs time. Make sure you add them one at a time so the batter doesn't split. It can be quite a volatile thing at this stage. Baking cakes like this, it's a really therapeutic process for me. Often when our lives feel a bit busy, it's a nice thing just to do and stop and relax. Using stalk makes our cakes perfectly fluffy. Remember to fold in gently to stop any air escaping. Okay, now that mix gets split into three different tins. It helps to weigh out your mix at this stage so you don't end up with three different sized sponges. God forbid! Hello again to the ever versatile stalk. This time it's going in our icing. Bum, 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 bum. We're creaming it again and then adding icing sugar a spoonful at a time, slowly but surely, to minimise the dreaded sugar clouds and stop it from splitting. If the icing looks a little bit thick, then just add a splash of water and proceed until you've got a nice icing consistency, then split it into three bowls. Oh yeah, off you go. Two thirds will be the main blue icing and the remaining will be split into white icing for our crumb coat and some pink icing to decorate the top. So, our three cakes are all out of the oven and have cooled down. I've cut the tops off so they're nice and even and don't dome. So save these crusts for later on. You can either eat them or use them to make a little lid for your secret piñata compartment. You can really see how lovely and fluffy they've turned out here. Yummy! Okay, this is where things start getting delicious looking. Layer your plain icing and some jam. I'm going for raspberry because YOLO and raspberry is my favourite. Okay, this is the part where I miraculously make a circle into an oval using the power of maths and a knife, which even now I don't really understand. Basically, you cut a strip out of the centre of the cake and put that aside, then you turn the cake round and cut it in half again to make quarters, and then you insert the cake strip back in There we go. Then you cut a little bit off, and wow, you seem to have an egg shape. I mean, it's an egg. I've made an egg. Now, as mentioned earlier, this is a piñata cake, so we have to cut a little circle out. But what you're going to do is put some sweets inside, some sweets of your choice, and uh, put that lid back on. You never know, it's a secret compartment full of sticky, chocky, chocky bits. So this is where we put on our crumb coat. As you can see, I'm not going for finesse at this stage, it's just a base coat that we set in the fridge. And this is definitely the best tip I've ever received. It's a bit like putting a primer on when you're painting a wall. Pop that cake in the fridge for half an hour, and then get him out again and put on your blue icing. This is your final coat, and it's a real time to show off your skills with a palette knife, which is immensely satisfying stuff. So I've popped our pink icing into a bag with a star nozzle to get some really cool little retro decorations. I've also added my all-time favourite garnish, sprinkles. So here it is, our finished masterpiece. This is very much a sharing occasion cake, so thanks so much to Stork for helping to bring it all together. It's really nice. First impressions, a really beautiful, even bake, and that's thanks to Stork. Fluffy crumb, like, you can see that. It's the thing of beauty. Yeah, the icing, 
perfect, not too sweet. The cake itself, yes, yeah, it's, it's so light and fluffy and, and evenly cooked throughout. Really into this. I would make this for my Easter extravaganza. It's a real showstopper. I think you should too. Nice one. Cheers. Yes, let me go again.